Okay. So what we're going to do is to get started in child's pose. So bring your toes together to touch, your knees out wide. Rest your forehead down on the earth below. Allow for yourself to feel heavy, feel earthy. Make note of the points of contact that you are making with the earth. <laughs> if you also have music, you're welcome to start it now. Find yourself a deep breath in, fill up your space between your legs with your belly. And as you exhale, envision anything that is not serving you to be removed from the body. Find a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Find another inhale and exhale. Take one more breath in and exhale, let it go. Inhale, pick your forehead up about an inch up off of the earth and start to walk your fingertips over to the right side of your space. You maybe place your left hand on top of your right, finding that nice side stretch in the left side of the body. As you inhale, find the fullness, the fullness in your left side. As you exhale, sink deeper, finding a deeper stretch. Envisioning your left hip to be placed down, concrete and heavy on the earth. Inhale, come back through center. Gently start to walk your fingertips towards the center of your space. And exhale over to the left side. Possibly placing your right hand on top of the left. Find a deep breath in, fill up the right side body. And as you exhale, sink the right hip down. Inhale, fill the space from the armpit all the way to the hip. And exhale, find a heaviness. Inhale, come back through center. Place your, shoulder, your hands underneath your shoulders, stack your hips over your knees for tabletop. And then as you inhale, sink your belly down, shine through your chest, drag the head up for cow pose. And as you exhale, round out through the back, broaden through the shoulder blades and drag the head down, angry cat. Inhale, flip the tailbone up to the sky, drag the tailbone, the belly down, ride the head up, cow. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round through the spine, broaden through the shoulder blades and lastly drag the head down, angry cat. You're welcome to move as you are between these two poses. The beautiful gift that we get with Cat Cow at the beginning of our practice is it's a tool to link our breath to our body. So as you move between cat and cow, try to focus on where your breath is. Allow for your breath to be an aid, um, a sort of support between these movements. You're welcome to invite in any organic movements, such as snaking your hips from side to side, barrel roll, your torso in one direction and then the other, maybe come to and from child's pose. Anything that your body might be craving this morning. Once you feel like you're complete, tuck your toes and send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can pedal out through each one of your legs. Try to find space in this pose by coming up onto your tippy toes. Take a generous bend into your knees. Find your chest to close the space between your thighs and send your tailbone up to the sky. Once you find that you can't reach anymore, straighten through the legs and send the heels down to the earth. Beautiful.
Find a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Press down through the L parts of your hand, rotating the inner parts of your elbow towards the front of your space. Focus your gaze between the space between your two big toes. Find an inhale and exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift your right leg up high, strong and straight to the sky. Heel to the sky, toes facing down. And as you exhale, round through the back and plant the right foot towards the front of your space for a little lunge. Soften your back knee down to the earth and then using your strong core, inhale, rise up on Asana. You can keep your toes tucked in the back or you, this is more comfortable on your knee. You can flatten out to the top part of your back foot. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms, shine through the chest, open the heart, maybe focus the gaze up to the sky. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, bring your heart to your thumbs. And then as you exhale, revolve to the right. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the palms together so much so that your thumbs come towards your heart center. Twist, twist, twist out through the spine. It's going to be focusing the gaze up overhead. Bend a deep breath in. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come back through center, rise up on Janyasana. Exhale, plant the hands, send the toes up to the sky, straighten through the front leg, for half splits. Maybe windshield wiper your foot from side to side. Envision bringing your right hip back and space your left hip forward. Inhale, shine through the chest. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, take a bend in your front leg. Toe heel your foot to the outside of your space. Place both hands in towards the uh, in, inside of your front foot for lizard. We're only going to be here for a couple of breaths, so you're welcome to stay up on your hands, or if you would like that extra little stretch, you can drop down onto your forearms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Tuck your back toes. Come active on your back foot. Take a breath in. Exhale, malasana squat. So you're going to take your left foot to be to the outside of your hands. Then sink your hips down for yogi squat, like a frog pose. So your toes are going to be out kind of like a 45 degree angle. That's how your hips slide, how mine, mine do. And then you're going to sink your hips down as much as, as well, much as they can go. Place your elbows toward the insides of your thighs. Connect your hands at your heart center. You're welcome to stay like this. Or you can actively press your triceps into the insides of your thighs. Ignite your inner pelvic floor to allow for a little bit of extra lift. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold, straighten through the legs. Bring the toes so that they come to 12 o'clock. Inhale, halfway lift, make number seven with your body, plant your hands onto your shins, shine through your chest. And then exhale, plant your hands and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, send the left leg up high. Exhale, round through the back. And then plant the left foot up in front for a low lunge. Soften the back knee down to the earth. Inhale, on Asana, just as you did on the other side. Welcome to keep that back toes tucked, or you can lay your back leg flat on the ground. Back foot flat on the ground. Reach the arms up overhead. By just thinking in your hips towards the front of your space. Take a breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms, shine through the chest. Maybe focus the gaze up to the sky, open it up through the collarbones. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, your hands through heart center. Inhale, your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, revolve to the left. So hook the right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Once you find yourself here, press the palms together, allowing for your thumbs to come towards your heart center. Maybe focusing your gaze up to the sky. Ignite your thigh bones so that they are supportive in this pose while still allowing for some buoyancy, some extra space to be created in the right hip. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come back through center, rise up on Johnny Asana. Exhale, half split, straighten through the front leg, send the toes up to the sky. Bring the right hip back in space, left hip forward. Maybe you want to back your feet from your foot from side to side. Take a breath in, shine through the chest. Exhale, bend a little bit closer to the ground. Inhale, start to bend your front leg. Place both hands onto the inside of your left foot. Toe heel your foot to the outside of your mat. For lizard, sink down into your hips, allowing for the space between the floor and your hips to be lesser than it was. Shine through the chest on your inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper. You're welcome to stay up on your hands or you can drop down onto your forearms, whatever fits best in your body. Find a deep breath in and exhale. Tuck your back toes, become active in your back leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, gently place your left, your right foot to the outside of your hands for Malasana squat. Just as we did on the other side, allow the toes to turn out naturally. Press your elbows at the insides of your knees. Come up and out with your chest. Press your palms together, allowing for you to find that extra space. Ignite that pelvic floor, allow for you to find a little bit of extra space between your booty and the floor. Find a deep breath in and exhale, forward fold. Bring your toes so that they're, your feet so that they're about hip width distance apart for a rag doll. Take a generous bend into your knees, grab for opposite elbows. Let your head hang heavy, sway from side to side. As you sway from side to side, make note of the transfer and balance in your feet in the four corners of your space between your toe, your big toe, your pinky toe, and the two parts of your heel. Also make note of how the edges the outsides and the inside edges of your feet move as you sway. Envision yourself being grounded, finding roots coming out the feet, sinking into the earth, allowing for you to find stability. Envision brain draining out a steady stream of anything that may not be serving you to be splashed down onto the mat, taken away forever. Release your hands and slowly by stacking one vertebra on top of one another, come into standing with your eyes closed, your hands to your um, heart center. We're gonna prepare um, a mudra today called the Lotus Mudra. So you're gonna connect your pinkies and your thumbs and allow for your three, your six fingers to be splayed out to the side. You can gently close your eyes and then find here where we set our intention. The lotus flower um, signifies perseverance, signifies purity. It allows for you to open up your heart chakra and become connected with your inner beauty, your inner soul. The thought of the lotus flower comes from um, the base. It, the lotus flower itself sits on a pond. It loves the sun, so as it gets to know the sun more, it starts to open up its petals. However, its roots are down deep in the like muddy swamp of the ground of the pond, whichever. So it allows for you to signify resilience coming up through the muck up to the top and be able to spread your light from the sun. So what we'll be doing today is utilizing this lotus pose as we move through our practice. So you're welcome to set your intention to find your resilience, to find your purity as you move through this today. Take a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Start to flutter your eyes open. And as you inhale, reach your arms up overhead, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms, shine through the chest, rise up through the sky. Take a tiny back bend, engaging the core. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, forward fold, bring the hands down through heart center or as a swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, plant the hands onto the shins, make the number seven with your body. Allow for your spine to be reset, shining through the crown of the head. Take a breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, high plank. 
Inhale, shift your shoulders just over your wrist creases. Come to your tippy toes. Exhale, lower all the way down to the earth with your elbows kissing the sides of your ribs like a tricep push-up. Untuck your toes and zip your legs up like a mermaid or a merman, so much so that your knees come up off of the earth. Then utilizing your strong back muscles, inhale, baby cobra. Shine through the chest. Maybe float the hands. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up, high plank, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find a deep breath in. And exhale it out. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look to the top of your space, come to your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, arms up, overhead, root to rise. Exhale, cactus the arms, shine through the chest. Inhale, through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, high plank. Inhale, shift your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, lower down only halfway this time, Chaturanga Dandasana. Come to the tops of your toes, shine through your chest, straighten through the arms. Allow for your thighs to be up off of the earth for your upward facing dog. Go dump into the back, core engaged. Take a breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale one more time, and exhale. Inhale, look to the top of your space, come to your tippy toes. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana of your choice, either lowering down halfway or all the way, coming into up dog or baby cobra, and then exhale, coming into your down dog. You're always welcome to skip your chaturanga all together. Your shoulders get tired, especially as we move through our practice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. We'll move through our sun A two more times at your own pace. So we'll start by inhaling and looking to the top of your space. And then exhale, bend your knees and travel up to the top of your mat. You're welcome to follow your own breath. Or you can maybe turn up the music if you have that ability on your Apple Watch or whatever device you have. But wherever you are, follow your breath. And if you do something, you don't remember where you're at. Or if you want to add on anything that your body is craving this morning as we're getting warmed up, that's totally fine as well. Beautiful thing about yoga is that you show up on your mat and you breathe. You are doing yoga. Well, the easiest. So great. Once you feel like you're ready after your second round of your Surya Namaskar A, you can find yourself in downward facing dog. Or if you want a little bit of extra challenge, you can come into a high plank. Beautiful. Good job. Casey and Aaron, y'all are killing it. <laughs> Beautiful. Once you find yourself in your downward facing dog, take a deep breath in and exhale. Take your time, there's no rush. We got all the time in the world, right? Nice, Aaron. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog if you aren't there already. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel up to the top of your mat. Yeah. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink down to the comfiest chair you've sat in all week. It's only Monday, so. Should be pretty comfy, right? But this one's provided to you by the strength in your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads. 
Yes. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Then carve your low belly up and away from your thighs. Good, Aaron. Rest your shoulders down and away from the ears. Yes. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, come to your tippy toes, airplane your arms for chair plane. Take a generous bend into your knees. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa of your choice. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high, strong and straight. Exhale, round through the back, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Pull the leg, front leg back and the back leg forward, allowing for you to ignite your pelvic floor, the space in between your inner thighs as well. And then draw a line straight up, high crescent. Knit your, low ribs, oh, oh. Knit your ribs in so that your core is engaged. Shoulders rested down and away from the ears. Right knee is directly over the left, their right ankle. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Yeah. So warrior two, back, knee, back foot is parallel with the back of your space. Front leg is toward the front toe there at number 12 on the clock. Knee is directly over the ankle. You're bent down, finding maybe a little bit of buoyancy in your front thigh. Arms are out, gazes over the front fingers. Surrender your front palm up to the sky. Inhale, reverse your warriors. Still find that bend in the right knee. Open up the right side body. Take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Pop onto the back toes. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, round out knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Suction the feet together. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale to settle. Maybe take a little generous bend or a little bend in the back thigh and then, or bend in the back knee and then tuck the pelvis underneath you. Find a breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Just as we did on the other side, making sure our feet are set where they need to be. Our knee is directly over the ankle and out toward the pinky side edge of our toes so we can look down and see our big toe. Shoulders are rested down and away. The, the tips of our shoulder blades are as connected as they can be. Gaze over the front finger. Take a breath in and exhale. Turn your front palm up to the sky. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Find that bend in the left knee as you send your, right, your left arm up and back. Fill your left side ribs. Take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Pop onto the back toes and take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We'll move through that one breath to one movement. So inhale, lift the right leg up hot, or inhale, lift to the top of your space, sorry. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plank, come to the tippy toes, arms back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up high, strong and straight. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse right arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high, strong and straight. Exhale, round out, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, left arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. 
Take a breath in. And exhale, let it go. Take one more inhale. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach the, look to the front of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. So straighten through the front leg. Reach your right arm forward as far as it can go. Then sass your hips back. Tick-tock your hands to six and 12. Once you find that connection of your right, back of your right hand with your inner thigh, your inner calf, if you will, use that to press and rotate your chest up to the sky. Take your booty, then tuck it underneath you. That ignites the different parts of your obliques. You can rest your hand onto your shin, a block, the ground if you want to focus on flexibility, to the instep or the outstep of your front foot, depending on the traditional way you'd like to go. Wherever you are, find a deep breath in. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Inhale, star pose. So all 10 toes towards the long side edge of your mat. Arms out long. Yes, take up space, take a breath in. Exhale, goddess. Sink down to the hips, bring the hands to the heart center. Maybe start to bounce, find some buoyancy. Allow for yourself to get earthy. Allow for your root of your pelvic floor to be strong and straight. Yeah. Inhale, reach your arms out wide. And then exhale, eagle arms. So allow for your left arm to be underneath your right. Connect to the elbows. So both palms are facing up. And then you can either try to connect the palms together, or if that's not okay in your shoulders, you can always grab for your shoulders. Yeah. Wherever you are, keep the buoyancy in your knees, a nice bend in your legs. And then send your fingers up and away from your face. Round through the back, possibly opening up through the shoulder blades. Take a breath in. Exhale, crescent towards the front of your space, but keeping the airplane arms. So you just switch your feet so that you're popped up on your back foot, and then your right toes are towards 12 o'clock. Yeah. Take a big breath in. Exhale, eagle. So send your right leg, or your left leg up in a, a one-legged Tadasana, and then cross over your right foot, your right thigh. Body parts are really hard for me this morning. <laughs> Find a deep breath in. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. You can always use your foot as a kickstand. So you can use, touch your toes onto the ground. You can float your foot, or if you want the full bind, you can wrap your toes behind your calf. Sink down closer into the chair. Find your drift to your point of focus. Beautiful. Keeping the arms where they are, fine. Keeping that first sheet. Unravel the left leg and then send it back behind you. Airplane with eagle arms. Yes. Bring the left hip down in space. Still try to bring the fingertips away from your face. Beautiful. Take a big breath in. Exhale. High crescent eagle arms. Yeah. We're keeping these eagles. Inhale. Reach up and back. Exhale. Humble warrior with eagle arms. Bend down, send your torso in towards the front, or to the inside of your front leg. Yeah. Inhale, unravel the arms, exalted. So send your right hand to the back of your left thigh. Send your left arm up to the sky. Stretch through your left side body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Then take your hand, place them in a prayer at the center of your heart. You can utilize this mudra as well, the prayer. Or if you want to pop in the lotus, you can do that as well. Wherever you are, use that strength in your core to possibly rotate your chest closer to the sky if you're focusing your gaze. 
You want to drop down to your back knee, if you will, as well, focusing more on the twist. If you want that fire, you can stay up on your back leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come back up and open, warrior two. Big move. Nice, good transition. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Find that bend in your front knee, send the left, right arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, send the left leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, left arm up and back. Exhale, triangle, straighten through the left leg. Reach left arm forward, sass the hips back, and then tick tock your hands to six and 12. Tuck your booty underneath you. Allow for your wingspan to possibly draw your gaze up to the sky. Root down through both feet, allow for that those roots to be connected to the mat, allowing for you to be stable. Possibly run, resting your hand on your uh, shin or reaching toward the instep or the outstep of your front foot. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in and exhale it out. Inhale, star pose, all 10 toes towards the long side edge of your mat. Find a breath in, take space. Exhale, goddess. Sink down, bring your hands to your heart center or into your lotus, connect the pinkies and the thumb. Beautiful, maybe find a bit of buoyancy. Maybe lifting one heel and then the other heel, maybe both heels, finding that buoyancy. Yes, pulse. <laughs> Sink both heels back down to the earth. Reach your arms out wide. Then as you exhale, eagle arms, send the, left, the right arm underneath the left this time. You can find the same as you did on the other side, Bring both palms to the sky, connect both palms, or reach for the elbows, or shoulders, body parts are hard. Find a breath in, exhale, crescent lunge towards the front of your face. With the eagle arms, keeping them connected. Inhale, one leg to the asana, with your right leg up high, and then exhale, eagle. Sink down into your chair. Allow for yourself to possibly float the bottom leg, Use it as a kickstand, wrap it around wherever you are. Bring your hands out and up and away from your face, round through the back. Possibly bring your shoulders over your hips and sinking down into your, into your knees. Yes, beautiful. Good job, you guys. Take a breath in, exhale, slowly start to kick back, airplane with eagle arms. Bring the right hip down in space, maybe flex your right foot. Reach the fingers away from the face. Take a breath in. Exhale, high crescent. Eagle arms, keeping those arms. Inhale, root arms up and back. Exhale, humble with eagle arms. Beautiful. Bring the torso into the inside of the left leg. Unravel, open up, revolve. Er, yeah. So bring the right arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Revolved actually. <laughs> Connect the fingers, press the palms into one another. Rotate the chest up to the sky, possibly dropping down onto the back knee. Beautiful. Wherever you are, find length out through the crown of the head. Exhale, twisting the spine, focusing the gaze up to the sky. Beautiful. Inhale, big transition. Open up, warrior two. Allow for your feet to be connected and in this parallel with the back of your uh, space. Bend in your right leg, or your left leg. Oh my gosh. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. And exhale, down dog. Find a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Find another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Inhale, ch exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse right arm up and back. Exhale, triangle, straighten through the front leg. Left arm up to the sky, yeah. Inhale, star, all 10 toes to the long side edge. Exhale, goddess. Keep the arms out wide. Take the left arm underneath the right, eagle arms right away. Take a big breath in. Exhale, crescent towards the front of your space. Inhale, one leg to the left leg up high. Exhale, eagle. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. Inhale, slowly start to unravel. Airplane with eagle arms. Stay for a breath in and exhale, slowly start to make your way back up. Inhale, high crescent, arms up high. Exhale, humble. Unravel, inhale, exalted. Send the left arm up and back. Exhale, revolved. Stay for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale to settle. Yeah, inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm up and back. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, left arm up and back. Exhale, triangle, right arm high, straight through the legs. Inhale, star pose, all 10 toes over the long side edge. Exhale, goddess, arms out wide. Inhale, eagle arms, left arm, right arm underneath to start. Take a breath in. Exhale, crescent towards the front of your space. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, right, arm, right leg up high. Exhale, eagle. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, airplane, send the right leg up and back. Keeping the evil arms, take a breath in. Exhale, slowly start to lower. Inhale, crescent, reach your arms up and back, keeping them evil. And then exhale, ex uh, humble towards the inside of your space. Unravel, inhale, exalted, right arm up and back, twisted to the side. Exhale, revolved. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, slice through the air, open up, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, reverse, left arm up and back. Exhale, chaturanga. Take a breath in. Once you get into your down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Let that on. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse right arm up and back. Exhale, triangle straight through the legs, left arm up. Inhale, star, all 10 toes towards the long side edge. Exhale, goddess, arms out wide. Bring the left arm underneath the right, air eagle arms. Take a breath in. Exhale, crescent towards the front of your space. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, send the left leg up high. Exhale, eagle. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, airplane, send the left leg up and back with the air, eagle arms. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, high crescent. Inhale, reach the arms up and back. Exhale, humble. 
Inhale, exalted, send the left arm up and back. Exhale, revolved. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, reverse, right arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Listen here, pop onto the ball mount of your back foot. Then use your strength of your right leg to send your left leg up high, standing splits. Find a flex in your top toes. Bring your left hip down in space so it's in line with the right. Find a breath in. Exhale, maybe rest the head down. You can take some handstand hops. Focus on your balance by grabbing one ankle, ankle with one hand, maybe both. Wherever you are, find a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, find a 90 degree bend in your, right, your left leg. And then as you exhale, come up on Lady Shavasana. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tree. Place your sole of your left foot to the inside of your thigh, your calf, your ankle, anywhere but your knee. So once you find yourself comfortable, you can come back to that lotus mudra, connecting the pinky and the thumbs, arms all wide. Press your Press your um, left foot into your right leg, so much so that your knee comes out to the side. Yes. Beautiful. If you want to express yourself and grow your branches, you're welcome to do that as well. You're welcome to take any mudra behind the back. You can connect with your palms as well. You can gently close your eyes if you want to ask for some challenge. Wherever you are, find a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, one leg to dasana, bring the left leg up in line with the hip. Exhale, Shiva twist. So place your right hand to the outside of your left knee and then send your left arm back behind you. Yeah, so you're still in your one leg to dasana. You're just reaching for the outside of your left knee. You're taking an open twist, essentially. Yeah, beautiful. Good job, Casey. You can possibly focus your gaze back behind you. Want that extra challenge as well. Yeah, I know your right leg is burning. Inhale, one leg to dasana. Bring your arms up overhead, and then your knee to be your knees to be in line with one another. Send your heels close to your glutes. Take your left hand, grab for the inside of your foot. Yes, reach up with your right arm. Find space in the spine, and then start to hinge in your hips. Kicking your left foot into your hand for dancer. Bring the left hip down in space. Find that drishti, that point of focus. Yeah, and if you fall out of it, that's okay. You're here for one more breath in. Exhale, slowly start to make your way back down. Low lunge. Inhale, dragonfly twist in the right arm up to the sky. Stack the shoulders on top of one another, maybe opening your wingspan. And then exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose, round through the back. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, open up for your two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, star, all ten toes towards the long side edge. Exhale, goddess, arms out long. Send the left, uh, the right arm underneath the left this time. Eagle arms. Take a breath in. Exhale, crescent towards the front of your space. Inhale, one leg to dasana. Exhale, eagle. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, slowly start to unravel. Airplane with eagle arms. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, slowly start to step back. Inhale, high crescent with arms up and back. Exhale, humble. Inhale, unravel, exalted. Send the right arm up and back, find that nice twist. Exhale, revolved. Send the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, slowly start to open up. Warrior two. Exhale, settle. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. This is where we add it on. Pop onto the ball mount of your back foot. Use your left foot as support. Inhale, standing split. Send the left leg, right leg up to the sky. Find a flex in your right foot. Bring your right hip down in space. Then try to send your heel up to the sky using the strength in your hamstring and your glutes. Maybe resting your head heavy, grabbing for one ankle and the other, attempting some handstand hops. Whatever feels good for you. Inhale, find a 90 degree bend in your top leg. And then using your core, inhale, one leg at Tadasana. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tree pose. Bring the sole of your right foot to the inside of your right thigh, calf, or ankle. Yeah. Once you find that, press your foot into your thigh so you're able to send your knee out wide. Finding that whatever mudra suits you, your locus, your anjali, your growing branches, your arms behind you. Maybe try something different that you didn't do on the other side. Yeah, good job, Erin. Beautiful. Wherever you are, find a deep breath in. And exhale it out. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Reach the arms up overhead. Allow for your right knee to be in line with your hip. And then Shiva twist. Send the left arm to the outside of the right, thought, the right knee. And then send the right arm back. Doing like an open twist with the upper body, but still keeping the one-legged Tadasana in the lower body. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, come back through center. One-legged Tadasana. Bring your knees in line with one another and send your heel towards your glutes. Take your right arm to the, grab for the inside, the arch of your right foot. Take a breath in, find length through the spine. Then exhale, start to hinge at the hips, sending your torso forward, kicking into your right leg for dancer. Bring your right hip down in space. Find that drishti, that point of focus. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly unravel, low lunge. Inhale, dragonfly twist, send the right arm up to the sky. And then exhale, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog, great job. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat for malasana, which is what we did at the beginning of class, the like froggy yoga squat. So we're gonna move into crow pose. You should be nice and warm. Being able to kind of experience with some introductory arm balance. So, if you envision yourself here in crow pose, you take your triceps and you place them on your knees. This is kind of similar to what we're going to be doing, but just on our hands. So, I will demonstrate. From here, we're going to find ourselves in a forward fold. Feet about hip width distance apart. Plant your hands generously onto the earth. Find a generous bend in your knees. Place them, come on your tippy toes. Send your knees into almost your armpits. You want them rested on your triceps. So from here, you're gonna focus your gaze towards the front of your mat. So your palms, your hands, and your gaze make a triangle. So you wanna have your head not strained up like this, not tucked down. You want it in a neutral position. So both hands placed onto the earth. Up onto your tippy toes, send your knees into your armpits on your triceps, and then slowly start to transfer your weight balance into your arms. You'll want to do like a chaturanga type arm. So you, how we did in our chaturanga is how we bend down halfway. We want that kind of motion, creates a shelf for our knees. So we're here. Find our knees into our triceps, slowly start to focus our gaze forward, and then send your weight into your your hands. Maybe practice by um, lifting up one leg and then the other. Or if you feel ready, you can bring both up. Yeah. Find a connecting in the toes. Maybe send the heels up close to the booty. Yeah. If you have any issues with possibly um, feeling like you're going to fall on your face, um, you can take a pillow and you can place it underneath your head. So if you start to transfer your balance, majority of the time you'll be able to catch yourself because you are so close to the ground. But if that's something that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable, you can do that. Nice, Casey. I can only see your butt. <laughs> Good 
It's slow movements. So the, don't try to jump up into, your, into it. You'll want to slowly, with control, start to transfer your balance into your hands. Yeah. Nice, Erin. Beautiful. Look at you guys. I love it. Nice. And the more you do this, the more you get comfortable with transferring the balance into the hands and allowing for that kind of arm balance to be um, in your practice, then the easier it becomes. And I know that's like really cliche, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So once you feel like you're done and you're ready, you can come into child's pose. For those of you who are practicing along with this, possibly aside from the live class, if you are in crow pose and you want to have a little bit of extra addition to it, you can always drop into a tripod headstand. So you're in your crow and you just slowly start to transfer the balance, tuck the chin, and then land on the soft part, the crown of your head. And then utilizing your core, send your legs up to the sky. You also are welcome to go from crow into your chaturanga. Once you find yourself in child's pose, you can reach your arms out long in front of you, placing the palms down onto the earth. Or you can reach your arms at your side, resting the tops of your arms on the mat below and then sending your palms up to receive, maybe giving your shoulders a bit of a break. Wherever you are, rub your forehead from side to side, your third eye, your center of wisdom. From side to side. Beautiful. Starting to release the ujjayi, release your breath. Wherever you are, start to extend your arms out long, make your way into downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up high, strong, and straight to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon, bring the right knee to the right wrist. As you find yourself in your half pigeon, you want to maybe scoop the left leg back and space connecting the hip as close to the earth as you can. Take a look over your right shoulder to straighten out through the hips. Then take a breath in, shine through the chest. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. Start to walk your hands forward. Maybe, you, maybe uh, rotate your hip from side to side. You can rest your hands in like in two fists. Rest your forehead on them, or you can take that pillow if you have the pillow. You can utilize that. Wherever you are, find a breath in and exhale it out. Love your hips to open. Making know of all of the connection with our mat, all the pieces of our body that are in connection with the space below, with the earth, and allowing for us to maybe soak up the energy from the earth, from the soil, from our mat, into our body to be used for the rest of the day. Inhale, start to come back up onto your hands. And exhale into downward facing dog. Maybe circle out the hip, circle the leg, getting into the hip joint, allowing for some blood flow. And then once you're ready, find a static down dog. Inhale, send the left leg up high, strong and straight to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left wrist, half pigeon. Maybe scooch the right foot back, allowing for the hips to be closer to the earth. Take a peek over your right shoulder, your left shoulder this time. Take a look up, shine through the chest. And exhale, drop down. Sit 
sending your breath into the hip, allowing for it to open with every inhale and every exhale. Coming back into the lotus, finding the resilience. The lotus flower sits on the surface of a pond, opening to the sun as its roots remain deeply embedded into the mud, into the bottom, holding it from, holding it firm and strong. It's a sign of resilience, purity. This is a gentle reminder of the natural beauty of your soul. Gently start to make your way up onto your hands back into downward facing dog. Look to the top of your space and take tiny steps up to the top of your mat. Reach your legs out long, come through to a seat. Remove the goodness from underneath your booty. Take your right leg, allow for it to still stay long, maybe out towards the top right corner of your space and then take your left leg as a figure four connect the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh once you find yourself here you can take a breath in rise up reach your arms up overhead and then as you exhale bend over your right foot possibly twisting the torso and allowing for your body to lie heavy you have two options that you can use here to focus on different parts of your muscles you can Find a bend into your knee, and that allows to open up the lower right, the lower left side of your back. Or you can keep your right leg straight and get into the backs of your hamstring and into your IT band. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. another inhale and exhale whatever uh, stretch you decided to choose whether it be your hamstring or your back switch to the other one so if you chose your hamstring keeping your leg straight find a bend into your leg and then start to stretch the lower left side of your back if you have your leg bent find it to be straightened and then find the stretch in your hamstring Take an inhale, in and exhale. Inhale, slowly start to make your way back up. Extend your left leg out long to the left side of your space. And then take your right foot, place it as a figure four, the sole of your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Take a breath in, reach arms up overhead, twist the torso towards the left of your, their left leg and then slowly start to move your chest forward and down towards the earth, bending over that leg. You can do as you did on the other side, maybe starting with the same variation of stretch that you did on the right side. Take an inhale and exhale. Find the opposite stretch, so either bending the leg to get into the low back or straightening the leg to get into the hamstring. Find the breath in. And exhale. Inhale, come back up, reach the legs out long, reach your arms out long like zombie arms. Then using your last bit of core, slowly start to lower yourself onto your back. Bring both knees into your chest. Rock them from side to side, giving your low back a bit of a massage. Hug your knees into your chest. And then shift the hips over to the right side of your space. Then send your knees over to the left side for supine twists. Allow for your shoulders to be concrete, 
to be secure, heavy on the earth, supported by your mat and the soil, the earth below. And bring your knees to be in line with one another. Maybe focusing your gaze to the right or closing your eyes. Inhale, come back through center. Shift your hips over to the left. Bring your knees into your chest and then over to the right side. Offer your shoulders to be concrete, secure, one with the ground. Inhale, slowly start to come back through center. Reach through the inner parts of your knees for the outer knife side edges of your feet for happy baby. Find a flex in both of your, let your both of your feet so that your, your ankles are stacked over your knees and parallel with the ground. Maybe rock from side to side. Maybe straightening through one leg and then the other. Pressing down with your palms on your feet and up into your hands with your feet. Line for that kind of resistance to open up the hips. Inhale, bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Create the biggest hug you've given or received to anybody all day today. And then as you exhale, Shavasana. You have two options here. If you have a wall or a chair or a couch or something that's close to you, I would like to recommend possibly doing legs up the wall. So what you'll do is you'll scoot your booty up as close to the wall as you can and then reach the legs up so your heels are up to the sky. This doesn't serve you. You're welcome to just lay in your simple shavasana. Your legs out wide, your toes allowing it to fall naturally, your feet rotating out. The benefit of legs up the wall is it, revol it involves um, reverse blood flow from the legs. The beautiful thing we've done today, a lot of leg work, a lot of balance. So this reverse blood flow allows for all the blood in the legs to be brought back into the our uh, torso, our body, into our organs. And then once we're able to bring the legs back down to the earth, get fresh new blood to help with the flow. Wherever you are, find a deep breath in and exhale Shavasana. I'll leave you with this beautiful song as we move through our Shavasana. Gently start to deepen your breath, allowing for the rising and falling of your chest. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Run your chin from shoulder to shoulder. Reach your arms up overhead. Find a good morning stretch. Make yourself as long as possible from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Roll over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow for your skull. Shavasana or corpse pose is a death of this practice but it's also the death of what's not serving you. Fetal pose allows for rebirth. It allows for what we've moved for and what we have breathed for today to be applied into our everyday life. Gently start to make your way up into a seat. 
your eyes closed, your hands in your Lotus Mudra. The Lotus flower sits on the surface of the pond, opening to the sun as its roots remain deeply embodied in the muddy bottom, holding it firm and strong. It's a sign of resilience, purity, and is a gentle reminder of the natural beauty of your soul. We'll seal our practice with one breath together as if we have one lung. Inhale and exhale. Put your hands up to your third eye center, space between your brow, your center of wisdom. Thank you so much for being here to share your breath, your body, your movement with me and yourself and into this yoga community. The light and the love in me honors and adores the light and the love in each and every one of you. With gratitude, I brought forward. Namaste. Once again, I'm Jessica. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Have a lovely day.